Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to uh, Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. Uh, last time we entered this desert filled with Lagoo's enemies and now we're trying to get the hell out of here. And on the way we're killing some Lagoo's to make up for it. Why these Lagoo's are attacking us? Well, we really have no idea. Uh, the storyline was kind of sketchy about that aspect, but... I'm sure we'll find out everything in time. That's usually how this game works. Okay, hopefully Jill can kill this Lagoos, because if she doesn't, Miss could be in very big trouble. But thankfully, she does. And I think I'll move her right here so she can get in range of the uh, raven over there. I think that's a raven. It's either a raven or a hawk. It's hard to tell since um, the screen I'm looking at is so small. Usually if it's a dark black color, it's a raven. If it's a kind of a gray, or not really a gray, but a brownish, uh, a light brownish color, it's usually a hawk. Also going to move Nephany forward a little bit. Oh goody, the hawk attacked us. Or, we know it's a raven. Yeah, it's definitely a raven. It's black, so it has to be a raven. Hmm, I'm going to have to destroy that Lagoos as soon as possible, otherwise Volk could be in big trouble. Meanwhile, things are going okay over here. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and take him, take her out with Nephany if I can. Let's see, I have to attack with a Javelin though. Damn it, I missed again! Nephany, you are not very good with a Javelin, I swear. But don't worry, Jill will pick up from where you left off. Okay, so, you, uh, you might have been wondering why I brought Leith to this chapter. I think I mentioned it in the last video, but there's actually a secret character you can find here. And in order to get that secret character, you can actually, you have to use a Lagoos unit. And you only have two, so either Leith or Mordecai would work for this mission. So we'll go ahead and just uh, bring Leith up here and uh, get the character. Uh, you have to put Leith or Mordecai in a specific position in the sand. It's only it's one space, so you have to get very lucky to find the unit if you're just doing this on a blind run of not knowing where he is or whatever. Very hard to find if you really have no knowledge of where he is in the first place, so... Um, you might have to look up on game F a game FAQs or a player's guide just to find the answer. And yes, I call it game FAQs, not game facts. I'm not going to get into a giant argument about that, though. Because I know nerds these days. Nerds can argue forever about simplistic things like how to pronounce game FAQs or game facts. But whatever, I'll get off that subject. I'll go ahead and move Zahark right here. Ooh, some of the Lagoos units are turning back to normal. Uh-oh, we have a tiger and a cat approaching Zahark. <clears throat> I think he'll be fine, though. I might need to heal him just in case, but... Who knows, I might not even be able to heal him. But we'll see what happens. I'm gonna use Rolf right here. Go ahead and take out this cat. And I'm also going to use Zahark to take out this tiger. Hopefully he criticals. No, I should have used the killing edge. Oh god, that was close. Zahark almost died right there. Jeez. That was very close. <clears throat> okay, Rolf took out the cat. And we're pretty clear of enemies right there. We have to take out those birds in the north. I hope one of them can't get to Zahark or anything, but... We'll go ahead and keep moving. Well, uh... Oh, okay, we found the shine. Uh, we actually can't use shine yet because we don't have any, um... Light magic users. But oh, well. Let's see, let's go ahead and move... Can she move up here? No, she can't. She needs one more space. 
Uh, for those of you wondering, uh, the space you're trying to get to is uh, the third space from the right on the second row. Um, I don't know. Um, most people use the dimensions from uh, the left side, but I really don't didn't feel like counting all the way from that one side to the other. <sighs> so let's see. And oh crap! Oh, Jesus, thank God. That was that close to doing this whole chapter over again. Whew, thank you, Zahark, for dodging that. That would have sucked if I if he died there. That would have been a whole chapter's worth of stuff to do over. And this desert chapter is not a chapter you want to lose your best units on. Because it's so frustrating to just move around. Okay, right here I'm kind of just uh, looking at my game FAQs map just to check in on see where some of the other squares are and some of the other items are. But then I forgot I was recording, so I went ahead and just like ditched the map and went back to playing. But anyways, you want to go right up here, one space above Leith, where she is right now. Hmm, she senses something. Oh, Jesus, watch out! <laughs> okay, everybody, meet Stefan, Stefan. Personally, once again, I have no idea how to pronounce his name. I think it's Stefan. But it, I've heard the name Stefan being, been thrown around before, so... Yeah, it could be one or the other. You know how my policy on Fire Emblem names. You can't blame me if I mispronounce them. It's so hard when you get characters like these, and like it, they don't like talk about the characters. And like in in the second game, in uh, Radiant Dawn, uh, there's a narrator who actually talks during the map cutscenes, and he actually mentions some of the names of the characters. So you can actually kind of use that to uh, help you pronounce some of these names. But um, this is uh, not the case for Stefan, so his name is kind of unknown. It's, I'm pretty, it's either Stefan or Stefan. It's either one of those two. Anyways, <clears throat> Stefan is a Swordmaster. The advanced class of a Myrmidon. Now, he's actually one of the best um, promoted units, uh, pre-promoted units, units that are already promoted when you get them. He's probably one of the best uh, pre-promoted units in the game. And if you really don't feel like using Mia or... Uh, Zahark. Stefan is a very good replacement. Uh, his stats are just really good for a Swordmaster. They're the, the kind of stats you want for a Swordmaster. So I really recommend Stefan if uh, you don't have any of the, if you're not using any of the other uh, Myrmidons. But since I'm using Zahark, I'm afraid Stefan is going to be benched for this playthrough. But I will take his weapon, though. Uh, Stefan has a weapon called the Va the Vague Cotty or whatever. The Va Cot it's Vague Cotty. What am I saying? Uh, the Vague Cotty. It's a very powerful sword. It has a very high critical rate. It's one of the best swords in the game. And um, if you uh, move to that space where Stefan is, uh, not using one of the Laguz units. You'll get the weapon, but you won't get Stefan. But you can only get Stefan if you use a uh, Magoo's unit on that space. So there's really no excuse not to use uh, uh, a Magoo's unit to recruit Stefan, because otherwise uh, you just uh, get the weapon and not him. But you get the weapon no matter what, as long as you go to that space. I guess you don't have to recruit Stefan, but whatever. So now I'm going to be pretty cautious for the rest of this chapter because of my near-death Zaharka moment. I'll go ahead and move uh, Leith over here because um, actually there's supposed to be a white gem located in this this four square area that Leith is in, but uh, I have trouble finding it. But I'm going to go ahead and end the video in a few seconds because I am running out of time. Uh, join me in the next video when I try to get closer to beating this chapter and maybe continue on with the game. See you later guys, Slum Kirby out.